This is the declaration of the results of poll, election of a member of parliament for the Isle of Wight on Thursday the 12th of December 2019. I, Jeff Underwood, being the returning officer at the above election, do hereby give notice that the number of votes recorded for each candidate at the said election is as follows. Feeney, Carl Jason, Independent Network, 1,542. Love, Carl, Independent, 874 votes. Lothian, Victoria Anne, commonly known as Lothian Vix, Green Party, 11,338. Pitcher, Darrell James, Independent, 795. Quigley, Richard Michael, Labour Party, 8,078. Excuse me? 18,078. Honestly, it's written out garden. Sorry for that. Seeley, Robert William Henry, commonly known as Seeley, Bob, the Conservative Party, Conservative Party candidate, 41,815. The number of ballot papers rejected was as follows. Want of an official mark, zero. Voting for more candidates than voter was entitled to, 32. Writing or mark by which voter could be identified, three. Being unmarked or wholly void for uncertainty, 212. Total, 74,689. Vacant seats, one. Electorate, 113,021. Ballot papers issued, 74,691. Turnout, 66.09%. And I do hereby declare that Robert William Henry Seeley, commonly known as Bob Seeley, is duly elected. be pleased to hear I'm going to keep this pretty brief because it is very late and there's lots of really fascinating things happening up and down the country um, which I would um, which I'm, I'm sure we're all watching I just want to start by saying thank you to, to folks here for everybody who has helped make this election happen so for all the folks out of the polling stations this afternoon this morning this evening thank you to everybody counting here and uh, um, taking far too much sugar by the looks of things thank you very much indeed for your wonderful work so for Clive and his team, thank you so much indeed for all of you for making this happen. Uh, and we, certainly on behalf of this candidate and hopefully all of us, thank you to all of you who make this happen. Secondly, I'd like to thank everyone who voted today. It was a miserable day to vote. The weather conditions were pretty dire, pretty cold, and very often pretty wet. Um, and the overwhelming majority of Islanders, I think about 66% roughly, uh, got out to vote. So thank you very much indeed for all of them, whether they voted for me, whether they voted for another candidate, thank you for taking part in democracy. And as the island's MP, I will try to speak for everybody to the best of my ability. I'd also like to thank in addition my team, uh, and to David and everyone who's played a part, thank you so much indeed for going out and delivering and canvassing in winter conditions. When I was first elected a couple of two and a half years ago, we've had a lot of elections in the last few years, when, when I was first elected, I said that we needed to put the island on the map much more, and we needed to get the government to listen to us much more than we're doing. And I hope that is now happening. And it's not just me, it's me working with other people, the council, communities up and down the, uh, up and down the island, as well as other organisations and bodies. Whether it's getting money for Island Line, for Ride Railway Pier, or for the NHS on the island supporting their bid, getting the island recognised as an island, saving Sandown School, and doing all the other things, like keeping shipbuilding on the island. Working together, I like to think we're now punching above our weight. And I pledge that as the island's MP, we will continue to do that. I cannot promise 
to win every battle we fight, although we're winning quite a few at the moment. But I, fo I promise to fight every battle and try to do the best I can for the island. Every day that I get to represent the island, it is an enormous privilege. And I never forget what an absolute honour it is to represent this beautiful and wonderful constituency. So thank you very much indeed for Islanders for re-electing me, and I will continue to serve to the best of my abilities. Thank you.